Hey guys, welcome back. It's been about a week now since I started using the different methods and the settings that were recommended in the V7 thread on the XDA thread that I showed you guys last week. And I have all the applications installed. I'm running them on my Nexus 6B. So let's go ahead and talk and see, is it better or is it worse? The main thing that you're going to make sure here is you do need to have nap time. If you're running on Android 6.0, you need nap time sense that helps you, uh, you know, get better life out of your dose and makes you go into dose faster. Power nap, amplify, as well as greenify. So for nap time, it's pretty simple. Just turn it on, aggressive dose mode, and it turns on different new settings. Now, it this doesn't change the value when dose kind of uh, turns on, and mostly because it, it tries to go into dose as soon as the screen is off. Uh, but the motion sensing function of dose to turn on is not modified in these settings. Uh, the next thing that we have here is power nap. Make sure you guys join the community, download and install the actual module, turn it on. I have aggressive mode turned on, uh, and then, in, sorry, um, endurance mode turned on, and low battery mode turned on. And under endurance, I have some of my module, uh, some of my applications that I normally use uh, whitelisted so that they're not affected. So battery stats is one of them. Android, being, uh, Android system, you need to keep it in, otherwise you won't get notifications. Amplify, that's one of the other ones. And of course, uh, you have nine mail. This is my text, uh, my text messaging application, nap time, hangout, uh, just the things that you normally want to be able to get notifications out of. Uh, the next one we're going to go in, of course, is Greenify. Greenify is pretty simple. Uh, the features are already built in. You just have to turn them on under the experimental mode. Uh, you need to just turn on again. Uh, wake up timer, telephony wake up, uh, don't remove notification, and then block app state abuse. Uh, you don't want to go ahead and touch the uh, deep hibernation, which is alpha. That's something that we don't want to work right now. The GCM uh, push for Greenify apps, and then of course, uh, this is uh, Google communication. Of course, this is things where you can like hang out, emails, and so on. They'll still go through. And then Greenify system apps, and then reveal hidden syncs. Uh, that's mostly what you need to do with Greenify. Make sure you give it a root access and then a restart. Um, a lot of last thing we have here is Amplify and Amplify is already turned on for me and then some of the options that we did turn on here are specific to me so we'll go under alarms these are the three alarms that I did need to set as far as limit uh, and some of this analysis were done by generating a dump file from better battery stats so if you go into better battery stats so we'll go back here when you install the application you just go ahead and say share and then you can share a text dump file and then just basically provide that directly to v7 on the thread it'll give them access to be able to help you and pinpoint some of the things that are draining your battery specifically um, if you don't have battery better battery stats it's a little bit harder for him to actually help so please if you have this check it out the last one i want to talk about again within, within amplify is we're going to go into wake locks um, and under wake locks these are the items that i have wake lock uh, the four items here are my email i have limited my email sync to 900 seconds from 240 so that I get a little bit better battery uh, as far as the device because I don't have my mail syncing all the time. Um, and again, if you don't have anything else to compare it to, this is not a big of an issue. You still get your emails, you're still going to sync. And if you open up the application manually, you're still going to be able to get your email. And of course, all of the other ones are limited. Uh, last thing I want to show you guys real quick on the battery usage. Um, I'm running on this device a single charge and there's a little bit of an anomaly here within actually because if you go into the chart itself, you'll notice that Wi-Fi and all the other functionalities are, you know, this was hibernation. But for some reason, it decided to make a block into the graph itself. I wouldn't worry about that. Uh, but what it does tell us here is that I've been on the device itself since a little bit over before 5 a.m. yesterday on the 18th all the way till today. And today is already 5.07 on the 19th. I've already crossed 24 hours and I still have about 37%. And again, battery mode or a battery saver hasn't kicked in, which means my battery could go even longer. But it's projecting it that it will go all the way till 5 p.m. tonight about roughly a day and a half worth of usage on my Nexus 6P, which before I could not get uh, without these settings. I want to say definitely very helpful, very simple. Uh, you just basically need to know what you're doing and you definitely need to be able to use better battery stats for measuring your performance. So I've had it running for about a week. I'm running the Nexus 6P with Android Marshmallow, the latest build. Uh, the pure Nexus ROM is what I'm using. And I did have a little bit of issues with the ROM itself, but that's separate from the modules. Um, and as you guys saw with the hands-on, power nap, nap time, uh, amplify and greenify were installed and configured to his settings. And I did m about maybe five or six different uh, battery stats dump from overnights, uh, basically where the device is in sleep mode. So the main benefits that we're gonna get here is in standby mode, which essentially is where your device needs to basically just not consume as much power. Um, and for me, at least Google Play services was like the number one offender in 90% of my time. 
We uh, greenified some of the things as far as sync mail and some of the other stuff with the Amplify to be able to basically extend the time that it would take for it to sync. Um, I didn't notice any delays on my side because mostly what I say is if you don't have another device holding it, if you're not holding another device that's syncing at a faster rate, um, you're still going to get your emails. If you open up Gmail directly and sync it manually, it will still sync. It's just the auto sync functionality is slightly delayed from 240 seconds. I went up to 900 and that's something that's just to my preference. You guys could tweak it to your preference. Uh, but the main benefit, of course, is that uh, communicating with V7 gave me the ability to go for a day and a half. As you guys saw, um, I still had about 40% left on my device from going 24 hours using my device. I had some GPS. My Wi-Fi was scanning for a good amount of time there. Uh, that's just something you have to disable. But if you disable that, your battery can go even longer. Uh, and I was still using my device. I was still getting my notifications. Uh, my Huawei watch was connected to the device. I was getting sync. I was getting text messages. No, no functionality loss here. Um, the only thing you're getting here essentially is that some of these things that run in the background that keep your system awake, those are the things that are limited. So I want to say thanks to V7 for the thread. Check it out. Let me know what you guys think about this. Again, if you're running these modules before, the improvement is not going to be like night and day. But if you weren't, you're definitely going to see and you're going to be very surprised. Um, like and subscribe as usual and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And next week we'll be back to normal Exposed Tuesday mods. So we'll see you guys next time.